Guys, today we are going to dive in to the deep dive for lesson nine of module one. Today you will need a note card or a piece of paper and a pencil. What have we learned so far about what makes a complete sentence? We worked on handout 7b in your workbooks for reading. Um, we learned that it has to have a subject, which is the who or what doing the action. We also learned that a sentence has to have a verb or the action word. Let's identify the subject and verb in the following sentences. So a little review here. In autumn, leaves fall off trees. Hmm. In autumn, leaves fall off trees. I want you to take a moment to think about what is the action. Oh, our action is fall, right? So we were underlining the action in our activity for lesson eight. Oops. Fall, not off. Fall. And who or what falls? Leaves. We would circle the subject. Okay, let's look at the next sentence. The days get shorter. So get is our action here. And who or what gets shorter? Days, our subject. Now, if I wanted to join these two sentences into one longer sentence, how could I do that? So I w if I were to take both the sentences we just read and put them into one longer sentence, how could I do that? We can add the word and. In autumn, leaves fall off trees and the days get shorter. I just took both of these sentences and made them into one longer sentence by adding the word and. Pretty cool. Writers sometimes combine simple sentences into longer sentences by using a connecting word. I'm going to highlight that. A connecting word. The new sentence is called a compound sentence. Compound means something made of two or more parts. So a compound sentence is made from two or more sentences. We have talked about compound words in second grade. So if I look at the word playground, I have the word play and I have the word ground. Put them together and I get playground. Very similar to what we're doing with the sentences. So again, in autumn, leaves fall off trees and the days get shorter. I'm using a connecting word and, and I have my first sentence and my second sentence combined into one. What is the connecting word that we used? Words that connect two sentences are called conjunctions. I'm gonna highlight that too, conjunctions. So the word and is a conjunction. It helps put the two sentences together. What do you notice about how the sentence is punctuated? So punctuation doesn't just have to be at the end of sentences. Sometimes we have marks throughout the sentence. So before the word and, we have a comma. So when we add a conjunction, like the word and here, we have to also have a comma right before the word and. It kind of shows where we're putting the sentences together. Let's look at the next two sentences here. We have many animals prepare to hibernate. Some animals store up food. Again, two separate sentences. How could we combine these two sentences into a compound sentence? Well, we could do what we just did. We can combine many animals prepare to hibernate with some animals store up food by using a connecting word like and. Let's see. Many animals prepare to hibernate and 
some animals store up food. Again, we have our comma before our connecting word and. What do you notice about the punctuation? I just showed you we have a comma before the word and, and don't forget, we have a period at the end of the sentence too. So if we look at this, it's kind of like this comma is taking the place of our period from the first sentence. And instead of a period, we add a comma to show it's not the end of the sentence. We still have more. There are other connecting words or con conjunctions in addition to and, such as but or so. So looking at the words in purple here, I'll highlight them. To combine two sentences, we can use the word and, we could also use the word but, or we could use the word so. Again, those are connecting words or conjunctions. They both mean the same thing. Our goal is to learn the word conjunctions because it makes us sound very smart. So if we look at the sentence, it says trees can look dead without leaves but they may be waiting for spring. Can you identify the two sentences forming the compound sentence and the conjunction connecting them? So we see one whole sentence here, right? Can we break it apart? So do the opposite of what we've been doing. We're starting with one long sentence. Can we break it into two shorter sentences? Let's look. Trees can look dead without leaves. Sentence number one. They might be waiting for spring. Sentence number two. What is our conjunction? Our conjunction is that connecting word, and in this case, the word is but. So we used and at the beginning of the lesson. Now we're showing an example with the word but. Let's practice with some sentence starters here. So we have I like blank and my friend likes blank. I like blank, but my friend likes blank. And I like blank, so I always blank. Let's come up with some examples on our own here. I like blank, and my friend likes blank. Hmm. Since I wrote the word playground earlier, I'm thinking of things I might do on a playground. I like to swing. And my friend likes to go on the slide. I ran out of room there. Should I make something shorter? Okay. Can I say my friend likes to slide? I like to swing and my friend likes to slide. Let's try another one. I like blank, but my friend likes blank. Hmm. Well, I like the color red, but my friend, my friend likes blue. That's okay. I like red, but my friend likes blue. Notice that's one long sentence. I like red could be a sentence by itself. My friend likes blue could be a sentence by itself, but we combine them both with our conjunction but. And we have our little comma. Good. Let's do one more. I like blank, so I always blank. I like, hmm, what do I like? I like to read, so I always have a book. That makes sense, right? I like to read, so I always have a book. Again, I like to read could be a sentence by itself. I always have a book could also be a sentence by itself, but we combine them into one by adding our conjunction, so. These are sentence stems using conjunctions. 
Now it's your turn. So on your note card or just a piece of paper is fine, create compound sentences using the following sentence stems. So you're going to fill in the blanks yourself. So blank and blank, blank but blank, blank so blank. Okay, I have some examples here for you. So you can pause it on, pause right here, oops, so that you can see the examples and it'll give you some ideas for your own sentences. So here's our examples. We have, I like summer, but fall can be fun too. We pick apples in fall and my mother makes pies. We grow during the summer, so we need new shoes for school. The weather will get colder, so we will wear sweaters or jackets. Birds will fly south and leaves will fall from trees. Again, notice in all of these examples, we have conjunctions or connecting words, and every single sentence has a comma before the conjunction. Okay, so it is your turn to write three sentences of your own. Again, these are going to be longer sentences. We call them compound sentences because we should have a complete sentence on the left side of our conjunction and a complete sentence on the right side. But we put them together with a conjunction to make one longer sentence. Again, pause the video here to write your own sentences on your note card or piece of paper. When you're done, you can unpause. So we're coming in for landing here. When you read, I want you to look for compound sentences and notice how conjunctions serve as connectors. Again, your conjunctions are the words and, so, but. I want you to notice how there's always a comma before each of these words when you see them in a sentence. Keep a lookout for those. And if we're in class and you see one, feel free to raise your hand and say, Mrs. Briggs, I noticed that this is a compound sentence. Or Mrs. Lightsky, I noticed this is a compound sentence. I see the word and. Miss Anderson, I found a compound sentence. This one has a conjunction, so. Okay, feel free to share those things. I love hearing when you make connections to these new lessons that we are doing. Again, your job to write three sentences, three compound sentences using conjunctions. Conjunctions. Mm -hmm. All right, I hope you all had fun. Do your best and have a wonderful day.